Good morning, everybody. Welcome back, RK Rottweilers. <sighs> I wanted to have a little bit of fun today. I woke up feeling great, by the way. I hope you guys all did today, too. Um, a lot of times when I hit you guys up and I say good morning, everybody, it's because it is morning. A lot of times when I pull the camera out, start filming, um, getting out with the dogs as usual. Jealousy. It's a stinky cologne. Um, yeah, so we get out here. I try to do a little bit more of this instead of just sitting in the office talking, bumping my gums, yapping, jibber jabbing. You feel me? Um, we wanted to get out, have a little bit of fun today. I had a few questions. Not really questions, but. I was thinking, what what are the three to five main things that you are constantly saying to your dogs? Not just Rottweilers, but to your dogs. Of course, with me, it's Rottweilers. Most guys on here, it's probably Rottweilers. But some of you guys don't have Rottweilers. You have other dogs. Or you have Rotties and other dogs. And I think a lot of their traits are the same. Um, canine, right? They're all built, they're all built similar similar so here let me let you guys get a peek at the girls though who do we got who do we got today we have who do we have here let me see here she's in the distance is that my boogie bear boogie bear here's my boogie bear here's my boogie bear <laughs> there's my boogie bear there's my boogie bear there's my boogie bear we have miss mercedes Oh, yeah, she, she got a water face again. Oh, she's so pretty, though. Give me those eye boogers. Give me those. Okay. And then, get out of there. Mula. Of course, I got Miss Mula out of great back here. She's trying to go into these woods. Get over here. Come here. Come on, Mula. Ooh, look at the big girl can move. The big girl can move. Hi, baby. What's up, Jelly Bean? What's up, Jelly Bean? What's up, Jelly Bean? What's up, Jelly Bean? <laughs> oh my goodness. We're so excited this morning. We're so excited this morning. Yes, we are. Get off my feet. We're so excited this morning. Stop it. Mula. I'm going to beat you. Get off my feet. Stop it. Little suckers. Just energy. Energy. So, like I said, what are the three to five main things that you tell your dogs or rottweilers you know because we're here more than anything else i give you mine i would love to hear yours want to see how many of ours are similar um and hey just jump in that comment box have a little bit of fun like i told you guys before we're just we're just trying to have some smiles some ha ha he he's you know life itself is you know pretty serious and there's a lot going on get over here so you want to be able to you know just take a break take a breath take a breath so i'll kind of take a stroll back here let these dogs walk it out a little bit walk it out come on come on so you didn't got stuck back there you got to come around oh my goodness this one yeah you got to come around thank you there you go that's using the noggin so i'd probably say number one for me and you just heard it get out of there get over here is get off my feet now why they're naturally born working dogs right they're used to working you know cattle things like that sheep whatever it may be so they go for the heels um, to get them to move in the direction that they want them to move and they're really really bad about it when they're young um, especially puppies I don't know what it is with puppies and their obsession with shoes and feet but goodness gracious I haven't had a litter yet that doesn't just attack my feet 24-7. This one, 
moolah is still on that most of my other ones aren't um my little young one venus is but moolah she's the worst she's the worst she's always on my feet trying to snip at my my shoes and trip me up or if we're jogging or something she'll always jump you know jump right in front of me right where my feet are so i don't know what it is with her but i do know where it comes from i just find myself saying that more than anything else uh of course get over here look they all turned around <laughs> get over here let's see how they all stop <laughs> what are you doing boogie bear what are you doing boogie bear Show him that speed, girl. Get it in, girl. So, yeah, get over here. That's constant. What's in your mouth? What are you eating? What's in your mouth? What is that? What is that? Ew, that's disgusting. You guys have heard that, too. What's in your mouth? Oh, my goodness. And there's no telling. Sometimes you just don't want to know. Don't ask questions you don't want to know. PSA, kids. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to. Because what's in their mouth, you may not really want to know. Trust me. I've seen some weird things. Um, of course, good boy, good girl. I try to praise them a lot. Um, the more time you spend with them, the easier they are when you're training them. Um, you can't expect to give your dog a couple commands and then they just know exactly what you're talking about. It doesn't work like that. You got to spend the time. You got to put in the work um, with anything else, right? You're not going to be great at anything unless you put in the time and the work. Uh, your dog's not going to be great at anything unless you put in the time and the work with them and support them. Support them along the way. Uh, it's not always about just giving them hands full of treats either. You know, just, just the simple praise. They really love it. These dogs are born and bred to just make you happy. They want to do anything in the world to make you happy, whatever that may be. That's the one thing about this breed that I know I couldn't, I couldn't ever get away from, is their lo their undying loyalty to just do whatever to please you and make you happy. So, I'm not a selfish person. I try my best to return that. You know, I try to make their lives the best lives possible. You know. <laughs> They eat really good. They sleep really good. You know, they have great living quarters. They exercise a lot. Um, I always keep them in a pack. So they always have friends and family around. You know, socializing. Very important. Very important for dogs. Uh, especially these Rottweilers. They love it. Get over here, Moolah. Hey. See, there she goes. Moolah, get over here. Come on, girl. Come on. Get over here, you little knucklehead. She's going to run all the way to that side and then come over here. What a little turd. A little stink butt. What are you doing, Boogie Bear? Huh? You going to go get her and smack her up? Get over here, knucklehead. Come here. Oh, I know what you're doing. You're pooping. <laughs> so, yeah, spend, put, in the, put in the time. Put in the work. Put in the effort. Um... You'll never fall short, trust me. You'll never fall short when you put in that kind of effort. Um, and probably the fifth thing, and these weren't in any particular order. And the fifth thing would probably be good morning and good night. I put all my dogs to bed together. You know, um, all seven of them. Like I told you before, AC just kind of roams the house and does what he wants to do. But I put all the ladies to sleep together. They all lay it down at the same time. I always give them good nights. You know, I always, you know give them praise and everything as they're getting into their little kennels and things like that and then it's good night ladies and hit the lights same thing for the morning good morning ladies hit the lights um much better than waking up to a damn alarm clock every day right like back in the day when you were kids and your mom wasn't you know on one she'd come in and good morning and all that good stuff it felt good right see my mom did a lot of get up what are you doing you're late for school what are you going to do? I was a hard hit. I wasn't the nicest little boy. But turned out to be an okay man, I think. So, that's all. Like I said, just wanted to get out here, have a little fun with you guys, do a little Q&As. Not necessarily Q&As, but, you know, just kind of putting it out there. I would love to hear, seriously, seriously, 
I would love to hear, you know, the top three to five things that you guys tell your dogs or have to tell them or have to say to them constantly. Um, no matter how well behaved and how trained they are, they're still dogs, you know. Mine will act like they don't hear me and just keep sprinting. What do you girls see? What do you girls see? Huh? Get over here, Mula. Come on. Get out of there. Maybe I should add that one to the list. Get out of there. Let's add that to the list. Sorry, I went above five. We're going to add that one to the list. Get out of there. Or did I already have that on there? <laughs> no, get over here, huh? Yeah, get out of there. It normally has a lot to do with, uh, yeah, them getting in everything they don't need to be getting into. Oh, yeah, let it out. So it's a lot easier when they do their duties back here. Another reason why I get them out for these morning walks every day. Um is that when I can get them to do all that good stuff back here, no cleanup, no cleanup. Uh, during the rainy season, it gets, it turns into almost a marsh back here. Um, like I showed you guys on the other video about the Sasuma and the kumquat trees. I'll show you those again. That's these right here, our little kumquat trees. And our Satsuma trees are in here, basically are oranges. Uh, my wife and I are going to get out here and get all these weeds out of here like that big old tree right here That's not a tree. That's a weed that grew into a tree so Come here get over here So yeah, it gets really marshy back here and really wet um, So we're also thinking about putting a nice big pond back here You know if we make that decision, we'll make sure we document it keep you guys involved Of course, we always put the dogs in everything we're doing So that's all for today guys let's, yeah, let's have a little fun throw those throw those uh throw those things that you say out there for me so i can check those out um but as far as the rest you guys have a blessed day today is actually friday have a blessed weekend get out spend some time with some family have some fun if you're sick of your family go find some self time some self-reflection everything doesn't have to be about everybody else um you know, part of that RK Fitness, I was telling you about mind, body, and soul. Sometimes you have to clear your own mind. Um, you can't keep everybody happy or make everybody happy if you're not happy. Um, so sometimes you just need to go do some solo activities, clear your mind, you know, get right. Exercising works pretty good. I'm actually starting to get it back into that. You know, shed a few of these bear pounds that I'd unpacked on over moving and all the good fun stuff. And plus just getting older you know I want to live I want to live long time you know people like us we didn't think we'd see 21 so you know to be creeping up on 50 true blessing true blessing and I count them every day much respect much respect so you guys have a great one and uh, like I said we will talk to you guys next time peace <laughs>